Hey, what's going on guys? Josh here with the Apog Gaming Zone, the official gaming channel of Apog Computer Works. This is the second video in our series highlighting Sapphire's HD 7970 Dual X Edition graphics card. If you watched the first video in the series, you've seen my review of the card itself, where I gave overall thoughts and impressions on how it worked when I put it in my gaming rig. If you haven't watched that video, it's definitely worth a check should go over to the Apog Gaming Zone YouTube channel and give it a watch. In this video, we're just going to get right down into it and talk about how that graphics card works with the HD PVR2 to record PC gameplay footage. In this video, I'm going to show you how to hook the two devices up together to record that PC gameplay footage, and at the end of it, I'm going to give you my overall thoughts and impressions on how these two devices work together. So. Without further ado guys, let's get right into it and start recording some gameplay. Here we go guys. I have on the right the HD PVR2 and on the left the HD 7970 graphics card. Taking a look at the HD PVR2, you see the Apog name on the front, and here on the back are all of the inputs you will need. Here's the graphics card on the left, much bigger than the PVR and it is the Dual X Edition Sapphire HD 7970 you can see right there on the logo. Now that is going to hook into this and then bam you have PC gameplay footage. It's really very simple guys. Now first we have to hook up the HD PVR and it needs power obviously so first thing I always do is get my power input there not hard to find there on the farther left you plug that in the wall after that we're going to get our USB cable because that's how it interfaces with your PC. One end is USB and the other end is the proprietary end that will go into the HD PVR. Keep in mind that if you haven't you should probably install all software that came with your HD PVR including drivers. Put that on your PC first then plug it in through USB. Alright boom that's hooked into your PC. Very easy. The hardest part here is getting your HDMI set up here, and that's not hard at all. I'm, I'm actually kind of being uh, satirical there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually hook in the HDMI into the video card here. And you only have one HDMI slot on the HD7970, so you plug your HDMI in right there, wiggle it in there, and what that would normally do is run out to your monitor, but instead it's going to run into the HDMI in slot on the HD PVR2. So you plug that in to the end slot. Alright, it's the one on the left if you're holding it up. Next, you're going to need another HDMI cable. And I have one right there. And you have one more HDMI slot on the HD PVR2. Plug this into the HDMI out. Now this is going to run out into your monitor. So your video card will feed into the HD PVR2 and then out to your monitor. There's all your cables. Make sure you have all four hooked up. It's really that simple, guys. There's nothing to this at all. So you can see I've got everything hooked up here. HDMI in, HDMI out. It's like an old cable box or a DVD player. It's really that simple. So we hook this into our PC, turn everything on, and we're good to start recording some gameplay which here I have opened the ArcSoft program that comes with your HD PVR2. So all you have to do is install this software, guys, then have everything hooked up, launch the program, and you're going to see pretty much what I'm seeing here. And it is mirror imaging your desktop. So when you start capturing, like I have here, the light is green on the bottom there on the left. It's going to record everything you're doing with a slight delay. Now you can see that I have a source of HDMI, that's what I'm recording from. You can see it's again copying my image off the desktop. It tells you the resolution and other details about the video that you're actually recording. Below there you can actually pick which format you want to record in and I always record in MP4 because I like to use Sony Vegas when I do my editing. And it's really pretty simple guys. It's all right there laid out in front of you. I mean, you hook it in, you click a few buttons, and you start recording. Super intuitive. So, after I started recording, I launched Batman Arkham City, which you can see me playing here. And wow, this game is still really good looking 
even years after it's been released. I think it's two years old now at this point. And I'm just flying around the city, gliding freely, looking for thugs, trying to take down the Joker and all the other bad guys. This is one of those games that people really like to live stream, or it's that kind of game people like to live stream and do their playthroughs on, because it's just such a great game to watch. Great cinematics, great look, big map. You can see me, I'm having to figure out exactly where I'm heading to here. I'm just running rooftop to rooftop. So much to do, so much to find. This game is a completionist dream. And while I'm recording with the HD PVR2, you can watch. I'm going to glide down and kick this guy in the back of the head. Bam! No loss in performance. Like, I'm just fighting all these thugs. No hiccups, no slowdown. It's just great. The game has all the graphics maxed out thanks to the HD 7970 Sapphire graphics card. Punch all these guys in the face and do takedowns with ease. What about smoke bomb? Do some dodges. Double takedown. Combination. Wham, wham, wham. This really is a great game. I need to go back and finish the DLC. If you haven't, check out Harley's Revenge. Here I am, starting up Diablo 3. We're not starting, I'm midway through a Halls of Agony run here. Taking out all of these baddies, collecting lots of loot and gold. This is one of those games that people really like to record and post up on the internet because you never know what kind of crazy loot you're going to get into or insane farming runs you're going to film. Or you could be recording the new PvP stuff and, and showing how awesome you are at that. Diablo 3 one of those games that, when it released, had a lot of controversy, had a lot of talk about the always online connectivity, and you know what? I still play this game a lot, guys. It's a really great game. and it looks amazing here, and it's just so much fun to record, because you never know what's going to happen. I'm playing here on Monster Power level 0. <laughs> just farming around, collecting some gold, keeping it nice and easy. This would be one of those games when we do our next video, the, uh, the live stream demonstration. This is a fantastic sort of live stream game. It's really primed for that kind of stuff. There I am. Getting my health down about halfway, but not running into too much trouble. Again, not playing on a super high difficulty, but my barbarian is just a manly man swinging two weapons, watching dudes explode, collecting all that loot. Money, money, money. <laughs> oh, this game is great. Probably going to go back and play a lot of this when we're done. A lot of videos you can make with Diablo 3. So much to cover, so many classes, so many builds. A lot of replayability. Anyway, though, I think I've covered enough Diablo 3. We should probably get back into finalizing, wrapping up this video. And there you have it. In a matter of minutes, you can hook up the HD PVR2 to your PC and start recording great gameplay footage. As you just seen, I recorded Diablo 3 and Batman Arkham City. All that gameplay footage came directly from my PC. Using the Sapphire HD 7970, the games looked and ran amazingly well. And thanks to recording with the HD PVR2, I took no loss in gaming performance. So it is a beautiful and I mean beautiful combination of products when you're trying to record PC gameplay footage whether it be for the professional or the hobbyist so if you like this video guys make sure to check out the Apog Gaming Zone YouTube channel where you can see part one of the video series you can catch this video obviously and if you stay tuned make sure to subscribe because next week we're gonna be talking about how the HD 7970 works in a live stream environment Anyway guys, I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in video number three.